Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman video sponsored by Rageworks.net. I'm trying my hand at the Ghost Assassin Challenge again, this time in Paris. I admit that I break the rule of hiding bodies here, but I think it should still count. Now again, I'm showing, you know, how I started. Really no weapons are needed, so I dropped my gun. I don't need the fiber wire, I don't need the coins, and I don't even need the lockpick. Basically, this is a straightforward run, and here we go. Welcome to Paris 47. Now again with the ghost challenge, we have to avoid um, interaction with pretty much anybody but our targets. So I'm walking here to make sure I don't bump into anybody. How you doing? Welcome to San And we're pretty much taking the same route that me personally I always take when I come um, come to Paris. I'm going to the basement. We're not taking out the cameras because that's against the rules, but we, um, we're going through the basement because it's one of the easiest ways to get to the top floor without being spotted. I pick up the master key for good measure, but it's not going to be needed. Now timing worked out that that chef was coming in and you know I could just keep walking past. If it had been any later he would have been kind of facing that door so I would have had to wait. You do have to wait here with this um this crew guy. Even before I try something like this, this guy has been the, the bane of silent assassin runs for the longest time. Pretty much, you should wait until he crouches down just to be safe. Then you can just walk right past him. I walk all the way over to this pillar before you come close to these guys, otherwise they might spot you. And you come over here to trigger their conversation because when it's done, one of them goes to the bathroom and you want to do it pretty much as quickly as possible without running to avoid suspicion because there are two guards coming down the, um, the side aisle. With him going, you want to carefully walk up and take the fireworks remote. And jump right in the box because those guys are on their way. Once they pass by, you're going to head out the same door you came in and just hide against the wall for a little while. Also, close the door behind you just in case. There's a guard coming down the hallway. You want to wait for him to stop, and when he turns around and goes back, you're going to follow him. And there's a door on the left that's wide open. You're going to go in and close it behind you immediately. This is the only place where I even start to raise some suspicion, but... If you move quickly enough like I did, it's it's not going to come to the point where the um the enforcer is suspicious enough to to um investigate. I think that's kind of long a long distance for him to even start to to spot me, but whatever. 
come up to the edge here and just run out there. You have to. This is the only way. And we can't do any distractions, so you got to do it that way. Now, you need to trigger the fireworks before you vault. Otherwise, you, you know, you can't do it while you're on the ledge. Now, we're going to climb up this pipe, and we're going to still hang off the balcony until Dahlia gets in position. You see she's already outside. When she walks over to the balcony, that means that she's right over Victor. That is Dahlia Margolis. Supermodel. Walk up carefully and dump her over. That's what I mean that I broke the rule, but it's an accident kill. Nobody's going to suspect that because people really do fall off of balconies like that. And then you just walk inside the auction, like watch out for bumping into her, her um, bodyguard, and just walk down the stairs. You're good to go from here. What the? That guy says what the, but I didn't bump into him and he doesn't, he's not suspicious of anything. I'm walking now because I was told that running is suspicious, which I mean I can agree with. But also in here you kind of got to do it because you'll probably bump into somebody if you don't. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my Paris Ghost Challenge. It was even it's a little bit more challenging than the Sapienza one as far as avoiding being spotted. But getting out is a lot easier. So again, I'm going to post the rules in the description. I really look forward to seeing if anybody... Well, actually, somebody has done a Marrakesh run. I need to check that out for myself. I really want to see somebody do a Bangkok ghost assassin run because Bangkok has sharp dress too. just a, an overwhelming amount of security and cameras and everything. So that's what I really look forward to. Again, if you have any other challenges that I can try, leave it in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, rw underscore slick. And join us at RageWorks.net. We do not have any shows this week, but we will be back in September. And as always, we always got tons of content, so check that out as well. I'm going to keep trying out these challenges, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a good night.